In this lesson, I'm going to give you an introduction to Code Sandbox, which we're going to be using for the first project of this course. So Code Sandbox is a browser-based development environment, and it takes care of a lot of the setup for us around starting a React project. So we're going to be able to just focus on writing the syntax and getting to understand the, the framework. It also enables the easy sharing of code. So you'll be able to follow along with my code and easily fork my work and view my work after each lesson. So Code Sandbox has a few great features um, which we're going to be using. So it supports NPM. So we'll be easily able to add any dependencies that our project may have. It is optimized for frameworks, which is great because we will be learning React throughout this course. And it is also integrated with GitHub. So before you get started and create a Code Sandbox account, if you don't already have one, I suggest you to create a GitHub account and then use that to log in. And then you'll be able to um, integrate and link directly with your GitHub account, which will be great when forking the, the repos, which I create. So I'm going to scroll up now and just click on create sandbox so we can create our first sandbox and I'm just going to talk you through the the UI in this lesson so first of all we'll need to choose a template so we will be using the react templates uh, during this this first project but for now let's just choose the uh, the vanilla JavaScript template and the main UI you can see once this loads is set up into three sections and it's very similar to Visual Studio Code which we will also be using in this course. So you've got the files on the left hand side and then you've got your the main window here um, of the code of that selected file and on the right hand side we've got a preview of our project. So we can always bring this preview out into a new tab, um, new window if we like as such here. And you've also got this um, our console at the bottom, which is extremely useful, and also a problems uh, tab. So if there's any linting errors or anything in your code, they will show up here. And back to the left-hand side, I'll just show you quickly a few things. So there's a few different uh, tabs here to integrate with GitHub or deploy um, or live sharing. So some cool features, but we won't really be using those too much. I am going to go to file and preferences and settings just to show you how you can change the settings of your editor. So I'm going to change the font size here um, so it's nice and easy when you guys are viewing my screen. Great and we can go back to the index.html file and any changes you make in this file is going to be immediately uh, reflected here in this window. So if you just want to type maybe hello world, you'll see that jump out in our um, in our browser here, our live preview. And also, it's the same. If you open this into a new tab, you can see our hello world text. And you can also just use the developer tools in Google Chrome itself, if preferred. So you can bring up that uh, right here. Okay, so we're going to be using Code Sandbox, as I said, for the first project. And then after that, I'll be showing you how to set up React on your local machine. But this is great just for an easy introduction to the, the framework. So in the next lesson, I'm going to talk you through an introduction to React. And we're going to start writing out our first piece of React code.